his opportunity again. Jimbo rips his back, and this is after he'd already made a defensive lob to get back in the point. Jimbo says, Bjorn, you never volleyed like that on the main <laughs> tour. Come on. Jimmy's been doing an awful, awful lot of work. <laughs> Trying to spur Jimbo on. He says, wait a second, I need a little breather here. He had it. <laughs> Pretty close. Oh, beautiful touch from Bort. Wow. 4 1. Borg showing some amazing touch, and he's got four straight games, 4-1 for Borg. The 1996 challenge had a distinctive South American flavor. John McEnroe was in the final for a second consecutive year, and his opponent was Ecuador's Andres Gomez. And it was Gomez thriving on the clay, out rallying John in three exciting sets. The win was worth $150,000. As we mentioned earlier, John McEnroe awaits the winner here. And after losing that first game, being broken at love, Ron Borg has rattled off four straight. Well, Bill, last night we were at the player dinner where they get together with the sponsor. You can see Borg's seven winners to Connors is one. And remember what Borg said? He got up, they introduced all the players, and Bjorn said, I'm here to kick Jimbo's butt tomorrow. <laughs> That's coming from Bjorn Borg, the stoic Swede. He said, I'm out here looking to take Jimbo out, and so far he's showed those words weren't just words. I think Jimbo a little surprised at how well Bjorn's played here early in this match, particularly on the hard court, which I thought would favor Jimbo. Grand Slam singles titles in the open era, ranked number one, 79 to 80, and in the top 10 for eight straight years. First, Roy Emerson has the record of most Grand Slam titles, but most of those before the open year, which started in 60, 80 at 12. And Pete Sampras, of course, knocking at the door to tie Borg. Pete Sampras with 10 Grand Slams, looking to add number 11 in Wimbledon Fortnite, which starts on Monday. And really, Ward left uh, at the peak of his game, so there's no telling how many he could have won. So true, Bill. He was just 26 when essentially retired from tennis. moving the ball around, picking his spots. He's got Borg out of court, then he just lines that backhand up. Because he had Bjorn so far out of court, didn't have to do that much with that backhand. These guys really know how to work the court, work the angles. The way Borg's taking some... I think I got the <laughs> Jimbo's got his little tights on under his shorts there. <laughs> Since Bjorn, you're making me run so much.
Morgan, Morgan, 42 years old, still stretching, scraping, and have that lined up, just hit it wide. Good solid game from Connors there. First serve was percentage was high. Was able to control the points a little bit more. Still in a hole here though. Borg up 4-2. Actually, Borg's really, I think, actually improved from his days consistently on the on the main tour, though he did serve very well at Wimbledon, but his first serve is really a weapon now, Bill. He uses that to his advantage. That's helped here in the fast report. Jimbo has to cover. Beautiful recovery, and he quickly is looking to get back in the open court. And that little bit forces the error. Just seeing that Connors is moving back quickly. Take your eye off it a bit. Bjorn is just playing a great strategic match, Bill. He's mixing the ball up, he's taking some balls off taking the pace off the ball a bit, and then there he just comes in on the second, third shot and surprised Connors. Well, you, you know you don't win that many time in Roland Garros without knowing how to construct the point. <laughs> That's for sure. Oh, beautiful lob from Jimmy. A good volley there, too, because Connors hit a solid return, was looking for a short volley from Ward. Ward pushed it back deep. Big game right here if Connors can break back. He's right back in the first set. 30 off. Ward never known for his big serve in his playing days. He always had the ability to come up with that big ace when he needed, particularly in Wimbledon. And there it is. Big heaters, third ace up the middle. Each and every point is constructed. Look at Jimmo huffing and puffing. Well, he's done this many times over the years. But he's not that tired, Bill. Believe me, he can go. This is all in the part of the Jimbo game plan. Ball. Look at Borg, five of nine, getting to the net. Looking to come in again. Just steered that forehand a bit. Now a break point for Connors. Get back on serve. There's that serve I was talking about, Bill. Sneaky quick. Right up the tee, just skidded off the line. Jimbo quite possibly, probably the greatest returner of all time. He's even leaning that way, but too good a serve. Jimbo missed timing a second serve. A lot of people ask, Bill, who has the greatest return? Is it Jimmy Connors? Is it maybe Andre Agassi? I think Agassi maybe can create more clean winners off the return, but Connors a little more consistent, I think. He gets his racket on it, but that time Ward able to hold on, saves a break point. So 5 2 for the sweep. And we welcome you back to the Palisades Tennis Club here in Newport Beach. There's the story, Jimmy Connors. Serving at 2 5. Oh, what a point. Beautiful. Set it up with that deep, heavy topspin forehand. And then he lines this one up right here. Beautiful acceleration with the racket. It's a great one two punch. Oh, good scrambling from 
Bjorn Borg, who's got eight winners now after that last forehand win. It's just one for Jimmy Connors. So he's really the guy that's taken it to Connors. He's made more errors in the match as well, has Borg, but it just shows that he's dictating play. Now just two points from the first set. all the errors he's making. He's in trouble getting two, three balls in play. There's his wife, Patty, and his daughter, sucking a little lemon drink. So two set points. Pressure on Connors. He's got a, you know, another set point here. It wasn't a great approach, but at least he made Connors come up with something. And as Jimbo often does on the backhand, he'll deliver. Great serve from Connors. First race. Ace, yep. So from triple set point down, we go to Deuce. He was having a little fun with the fans in the warm-up, Bill, with the radar gun, saying, look, I'm going to get this one over 100. I can do it. That one was 104 in the last serve. look a little unstable today, Bill, has been the overhead. This could be caused a little bit by the sun here, but you could see he was really looking for the ball. Game point now for Connors. couple points right there, Bill, because it was 2-5, love 40. Jimbo really looked out of it. But that's the thing about these players is mentally they're so strong. They're still as, uh, you know, playing those big points smartly and hitting, playing their best tennis when it matters. on that ball, pushing Connors out of position right here. This forehand gets a little break from the net court. talking to himself still as competitive as ever these players and that's what's helped really push the senior tour I think Bill is that the players are out there yes they're joking with the crowd yes they're getting into it having fun but the bottom line is they all want to win and that's just given so much more credibility to the tour and it's gotten the rest of the players, guys like Andres Gomez, Johan Creek, who do well in the senior tour worldwide. Even more encouragement. My brother John, when he first started playing on the tour, 
wasn't really that into it. But then he you know, started to play and get his competitive fires and realized a great way to stay in shape, go out there, compete. And now he's playing excellent tennis. That's a fourth set point that Connors has saved. Well, clearly the competitive instincts do take over. Mm -hmm. And it's an awful lot of fun to watch. There it is. Well, Bjorn has volleyed exceptionally well in this match, Bill. And at 40 15, at set point, he decides to swing it out wide, open the court up, plays the volley there, and Jimbo cannot get that by him. Great stab from Bjorn Borg to win that first set. There's another look. 6 3 in 35 minutes, the first set to Borg. Turn it around a little bit after dropping the first set, 6 3, and then getting down a break here in the second. Coming back, getting back on serve, 3 2. There's a good look at Jimmy. Well, Daddy was 159 right. straight weeks. That's a remarkable accomplishment. And of course, the three different surfaces at the Open. Beat Borg in one of those finals on the clay. The old Forest Hill Stadium. In the first year, they moved it to present site at Flushing Meadow. Connors won on the hard courts there at the Open. You mentioned a little bit of a momentum shift. When mm -hmm. you're playing a match and you sense it happening, is there anything you can do to keep it from slipping away? Well, I think Bjorn's got to stick with what got him here, which is being aggressive and taking it to Jimmy a little bit. I sense he's starting to play a little bit defensive. We saw him hitting a lot of slice backhands, and that worked well in the first set because he compounded it with the fact that he was attacking a lot. First double fall from Borg. So real chance now for Connors at Love 30. And another thing you have to mention too in this matchup, head-to-head -head matchup, is the psych job that's going on a little bit with Bjorn because he hasn't been able to beat Jimmy on the senior tour. He's only done it twice. Connors really has that mental edge against him. Oh, big forehand there. <laughs> right off the line. And it looks at Bjorn to say, oh, come on, that was a little bit lucky. I don't think Bjorn liked that too much. He ripped that forehand. Still two break chances. Work now with 14 winners. Connors up to seven. here and this time Ward tried to get in but not enough on this approach shot much too short and look at Jimbo rip that backhand cross court here's Jimbo's reaction after that winner don't come into that wheelhouse right there he says <laughs> I can do that in my sleep he's watched Bjorn do that throughout the match So now Connor's serving for 5 2. Is that right? I can't believe you're that bright. Impossible. <laughs> Be careful if you're a fan in the crowd what you say to Jimmy Connors because you can bet that he might have a response for you. He'll call you on it. Someone told Jimmy, move your feet or something like that. Gave him a little advice. Connor 
side of the court. Boy, he's just putting that much, so much pressure on Bjorn now. You can watch Jimmy actually take a point or two if you're watching, you're watching at home, and just watch Connors' movement in between shots. Watch the way he can constantly moving his feet, getting himself into position. It's remarkable the way he's able to do that. He's done it for so many years. Beautiful balance, great timing. at the beginning of this set it'd be interesting to see how Jimmy Connors would respond how he changes game plan and you can see how he's done that and what's made these players such great champions their ability to adapt Connors is taking the initiative he's putting more zip on his ground stroke and he's pressuring board or came up with some big passing shots early but as the match wears on you get a little bit more tired pressure mounts it gets harder and harder to do that <laughs> Jimmy knew from the moment he hit it, he said, that's good. Yeah, it wasn't enough on the approach there. Here's the backhand approach. See Borg back playing a rather defensive shot. Jimmy has the short ball, but just too much in the middle of the court. Bjorg's able to rip that up the line. Break point now for Borg. Both three of six. yet as we're back on serve. 4-3, set number two. Jimmy Connors giving back the break a few moments ago, so Borg serving at 4-3, and CBS Tennis coverage continues this summer. In August, it's the Pilot Pen International, the Pilot Pen U.S. Women's Hardcore Championship. Arthur Ashe Kids Day, and it all leads up to the ultimate Grand Slam event, the U.S. Open. Great tennis right here on CBS. This has developed into an outstanding match, Patrick. here comes up with a little dropper to set up the open court. Guys moving around the court so well. Gets the short ball, slides the forehand up the line. Borg makes a great attempt at that pass, but what a stab from Connors. Love 30. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, there goes the sportsmanship award. We, we don't have to repeat that, but a great stretch there from Connors. Borg realizing that Jimbo's going to run this down, so he goes for more on the back end, and he gets it. That was a big point, too. That would have given Jimmy three Jimmy, break points. You need something a lot stronger than that nowadays. <laughs> Right. <laughs> oh, 
Jimbo huffing and puffing, and like he's so tired. Watch, as soon as this point starts, his feet will be moving like you won't believe. <laughs> right here and finally Jimbo is just exhausted after that point hits that backhand long beautiful points and these are huge points or notice all the joking and talking with the crowd that's doesn't happen much here Bill things are getting tense Took the opportunity. He sliced under that backhand, kept it low, an hour and seven minutes. But every point has been a grind, basically. A lot of long rallies. Game point now for Borg. Great strategic play from each player. Work was in trouble in that game. Down love 30. Used all his guile to get out of that one. Back on serve. Huge game right here at four all. On the return. Well, Jimbo talking about his second serve, which is lacking a little zip. Borg went for the opportunity there, but overhit it. There's the Mac Cam on that last forehand return. Let's see, just long. Two quick points for Connors, which he needs. This board doesn't look winded at all out there, Bill. Looks like that layoff not affecting him so far. to take this one out of the air actually turned it into a tougher shot than it had to be and then this one just uses the pace works pass and knocks it into the open court Jimmy Connors and Bjorn Borg giving them a lot to cheer about. 6-3 Borg and now Borg serving to stay in this second set. Connors up 5-4. Once again, big serve, fifth ace for Borg. Really come in handy for Bjorn that big first serve today. Connors didn't have 
much angle to work with, so he threw up a good lob. And then he ripped that forehand right at Borg. 15 all here. Jimmy trying to take this match to that decisive third set. been the Achilles for Jimmy Connors that low forehand Borg shows it to him with that backhand slice and here it is just doesn't quite get under the ball enough with Connors his grip he really has to get very low and under that ball gets his racket on the return and always makes clean contact. That was a great serve out wide. Connors at full stretch, able to hit that return cleanly. 30 all. That's where I think he has a little of the edge over Agassi. Maybe he has a little better reach. Oh, bad error from Connors there. 30 all. The point away from getting set point, and Jimbo doesn't like it. Oh, oh. Bjorn scratching his head there. He had the whole court open up the line on this forehand volley. He made a great drop volley, great hustle from Connors. Comes in, good solid return. Here's the drop volley. Connor's able to run it down, dinks it, and look at the down the line. Wide open, he goes behind him. And that could really cost Bjorn Borg. Because Connors can take advantage of any opportunity. Now he's got his first set point. Oh, how about that, Bill? Again, that's the sixth. Amazing the way he's come up with those big serves on big points. Oh, a little slider out wide. Took the pace off that nut ball landed well up the line. Great angle. Tonight on CBS begins with Dr. Quinn, Medicine Woman, Early Edition, and Walker, Texas Ranger. That's all coming up tonight on CBS. Now Connor serving five all. Big overhead. This, by the way, is the only event in men's senior tennis where they'll play. A full best two out of three sets. Normally, if there's a third set that's necessary, they'll play a tiebreak instead of the entire set. Super tiebreaker, they call it, Bill. Instead of playing to seven, win by two, you actually play to ten, win by two. But it's the same construction of a regular 12 point tiebreaker one serve and then two, 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 two. Great volley. 
down to crunch time in this second set. Both players coming up with their best stuff. Connors <laughs> heard a portable phone. He said, I'll be over in an hour. So he's obviously confident that he's going to win this second set, but he'll take it to a third. That's confidence. Nearing the end of set number two. Well, things very tight, as you can see here in the second set. Best two out of three. Sellout crowd and a magnificent day in Newport Beach, California. Look how it's turned around. Jamie taking the initiative in the second set. Almost more than double the winner's report. <laughs> Takes no time in between points, just gets ready, lines it right up, not winded at all. The guy is phenomenal, 42 years old. Oh, that is beautiful tennis there. Warren Borg ripping ground strokes, taking the forehand early, hitting the off forehand. Now two points to go to the second set tiebreak. Turn there, Bill from Connors on the back end. Again, Borg wasting no time, stepping right up to the line. You do get 30 seconds in between points on this senior tour. Good depth on the backhand, creating the short ball. I see Connors having a half volley that. Look at Bjorn, so much confidence ripping that forehand. This, of course, will be a normal tie break here, Bill, not the super tie break. Look at that acceleration with the racket. First one is seven, have to win by a margin of at least two. Second ace for Connors. There, forcing the air. Miss hit from Bohr. Connors jumps out to a quick lead. Two zip. Overrule from the chair umpire. And, uh, yeah. He seems a little agitated. He's a little now. ticked off at a couple of the ball kids for not picking up the balls quickly enough for a couple lines people. Oh. The easy thing about Connors though is he can use that to his advantage, much like my brother John's been able to do over the years. He's got himself a three-love lead here. Oh. Ooh, that was a shaky call there. Ward got a break, I think. 
looked like it was going long initially, but I think that ball dropped in. Matt Cam will show that yes, it definitely did. So we're gonna replay the point here. Borg has said we'll play two. Jim both giving a little thank you. because this point was boring and this is the big point because now he's down four love in the tie break three one you're right back in it bad bad miss for the swede right there now in the tie break. Ward gave him one call, replayed the point, then he missed that sitter on top of the net. Easily have been 3-2 and now looks very much like we're heading to a third set. We talked about the, the psychological factor in these matches on this senior tour where Connors has won all the big points, has won a lot of tight matches against Borg, and Borg has mentioned that numerous times when he talked to the press. He says, yeah, I played Jimmy well, but I just seem to miss those big opportunities, the big points. The fact that he's actually saying that, you know that he's thinking about it, and I think that's really shown towards the end of this set here. Well, Connors will have six, six. ten points. See that seven zip tie break. But still, writing on the wall for Borg is not pretty right here. Start to heat up a little bit as this match wears on. The weather will get a little bit warmer. That could be a factor as we get deep into the third set. There it is. My quality ends. Bjorn Borg winning the first set 6-3. And moments ago, Jimmy Connors winning the tiebreak. So we will now play the deciding set. They have been playing for an hour and 29 minutes. Well, I think this is what the crowd expected and was hoping to see when they came here in the sold-out crowd here. Phenomenal tennis from both players. Great rallies. A lot of interesting strategy employed by both guys that's what got Borg off to such a good start I think the fact that he really attacked Connors but Connors adjusted in the second set now we'll see how this pans out here in this decisive set Borg with a little serving volley to start things off it's just fun I mean, it's just been a great match this is so much fun to watch senior tennis in their day, I think realizing really quick how serious these guys are, how well they're playing, and how intense this competition is. Look at this backhand from Connors. Clean winner, Borg again getting in here. Oh. Showing such great points on replays that they were without missing the great points, and it's one after another right now.
Rip the forehand cross court. Pretty much guiding that throughout. And then he sets up the old bread and butter. Look at the way he follows through and finishes with that racket head. Beautiful stroke to watch. 30 all. does right here. He's starting to flatten that forehand down a little bit more. And thus, he's getting some short balls. And right when he hits his foul, he says, run that one down, Bjorn. <laughs> Break point. set for Jimmy Connors. Long. Well, what I really noticed in that first service, uh, the first game in this set when Connors broke for it was that he started to flatten his forehand out. Not flatten out, hit it harder, go through the ball a little bit more. And I think that shows that he's feeling much more comfortable and much more confident. This, how he overruled the serve, called the fault. He said, In the old days, I would have probably jerked him out of the chair, Connor said, but. <laughs> Things do change, don't they? Somewhat, Bill. <laughs> now, would that be the first serve or the second serve? <laughs> just, do you see what he just did? He just said that's too much. Well, I used to get fined thousands of dollars for doing that. <laughs> I guess you get the sense that Jimmy's feeling real comfortable now. He's having his way with everyone. This backhand, Connor nails the volley. Another big backhand. Connor thought he had the winner here with a great little eyedropper, but old Mr. Borg can still run some balls down. ball to go long as it did. Tough, tough points right here. Still in a hole at 15.30. He's going to take all the time that he gets. And probably a little bit more, Bill. I don't think the rules are quite as strict here. You don't believe here. that, do you? Patrick? Definitely not, Jimmy. <laughs> Hmm. 
I said, he's real confident about his uh, prospects. He's already talking about tomorrow's match, Bill. See, Bill, Jimmy knows that I've seen this all before. I'd rather forget it, that match I played with him at the U.S. Open. When Jimmy looked like he was dead, dead tired, came back against me and won in five, and then won a couple more five-set matches all the way to the semifinals. He was at the age of 39. It's an incredible run. 30 off. Oh! As my brother said when that happened, he said, my brother Patrick has unleashed an animal. On <laughs> <laughs> well, the rest of us in the Yeah, exactly. Remarkable night. It's a match lasted, I think, till one o'clock in the morning. Later than that, though, I don't even remember getting home at about four. You must have felt like you were playing Connors and <laughs> about eight thousand people. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh. Look at that return. That'll, that'll stop you in your tracks. That's making a statement. Look at this. Just falls off and cranks this forehand return. He's well inside the baseline. <laughs> Slide that serve, swing it away from the right-hander, and then sneak in and get the easy volley. Such a thinking player. Game point for Connors for a two-love lead. Skills there might be a good baseball swing. Watch this. This might be the most impressive shot of the day. <laughs> Got full wood on that. Almost came up to our commentary box up here, Bill. This could prove out. Could prove to be a huge game. Long game. Early in the, the decisive set. Connors can hold here, solidify that break. Always tough to lose really long, tough games, Bill, early in a decisive set. Take a lot out of you, physically and mentally. CBS Sports Spectacular will feature the changing of the guard in U.S. track and field beginning at 3 Eastern. Emerging stars Marion Jones and Maurice Green are looking for fast times in the Big Easy at the U.S. Outdoor Track and Field Championships. That will be followed immediately by coverage of the championship match here at the Challenge. John McEnroe against the winner of this match. That begins at 4 o'clock Eastern. Another double fault. Well, this second for board. This could be where, Bill, excuse me, where that layoff that Bjorn had where he didn't do a thing for five weeks out with pneumonia could start to tell. I just sense that he's, he doesn't look tired, but he's making a, some real lazy looking errors. And he's also rushing a bit. See right there, he rushed the approach that last game. He rushed that last approach shot. It looks like he's trying to end the points a little too quickly, playing right into Connors' hands. Oh, man. That is a sweep 
backhand return. Borg has had success with this wide serve in the deuce court, but Jimmy's starting to sit on it a little bit. Can't go to the well that many times against Connors. He'll start to read that serve. Great anticipation on the return as Connors. Catching Jimmy leading the wrong way. Save one break point, two remaining. Borg right up to the line, but Connors taking his time, making Borg wait a little bit. Is that wide serve? That time he got it very short. Eighth ace. Closer to the net, the better on that serve if you can really angle it well. Closer look. Yep, right smack on the line. Connors took a little seat over there by some of the first row crowd. Back to Deuce. as quickly, but beautiful control. Look at the racket head stays firm, stays up high. Another break point for Connors. out a little bit more, realized Borg was not going to give it to him, give him anything. Well, you mentioned that Jimmy was so instrumental in starting the senior tour in men's tennis. Why do you think he's been its dominant player? Well, I think a lot of the reason is because he made the transition quickly from the main tour. And he had really kept his competitive nature up. Didn't have a lot of downtime. Not a lot of downtime. And also the guy's just a phenomenal athlete and specimen. His movement is so good. He keeps himself in great shape all the time. And he loves the competition. Oh, that tips in. And mechanically, Bill, he also has the type of game that that ages well over time, meaning his, sh his strokes are very smooth, they're very short, short backswing. His footwork is impeccable, which I think is really the key reason why he's been able to consistently play so well. And his timing is great. You know, he hits the ball cleanly pretty much every stroke. There's even a good example. Connor's on the run, but he still gets a good, clean strike at the ball. Right here, this backhand, he hits it solidly. Board with a good volley. Connor's on the dead run. He's out of position, but he still gets a good hit on it. It's very tough to beat Jimmy Connors if you don't have what I call a big shot or a big, a big game. And as the, the senior players get up in age, you know, none of them have huge serves or really huge forehands. 
They play that consistent, solid tennis the way they grew up with wood rackets. Great play from Borg. And that makes it tougher, you know, tougher for these guys to beat Connors. He just simply doesn't give anything away, doesn't give any free points. the night days. Jimmy looks at it as if to say, come on, how can you do that to me? Borg's serving well. As this match has worn on, Connors has been able to control the baseline rallies more and more. <laughs> well done. 4-1, third set. About who he wants to place in the final. I expect to see Jimmy, and, and mm -hmm. I want Jimmy. I mean, that's that's who I want. I mean, you know, so it's no question You're about not gonna it. Not around the bush. No, no. I mean, you know, Bjorn would be great, but uh, and we'll have a great match. But I want Jimmy. You know, <laughs> so hopefully that will happen, and uh, the Father's Day gift will come come forth. But Jimmy's Jimmy's been the number one player on the senior tour since this, he single-handedly started. He's been number one since the start. I think it's you know three, going on four years. And it's time to sort of move over the mantle a little bit, it's hopefully. And, and, and that's, that's my plan, at least. I mean, I'm, not, I'm sure Jimmy's not going to be handing it over, but uh, the plan is to take it, take it over from now. Changing of the guard, <laughs> senior tour is what uh, John think, McEnroe expects. Do you think, Bill, there's any uh, the little competitive nature there? Between those two? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. No, not at all. No. Okay. It didn't take long to, you know, usually guys say, well, you know, if I play Jimmy or Borg, you know, they'll both be tough. You know, I asked John, well, you, I want Jimmy. <laughs> Just right flat out, I want Jimmy. Connors out quickly, 30 love. Borg already with 11 unforced errors in this third set. Connors with only two. Talk about tightening your game up. seems to get better as the match goes on, as he gets into longer, tougher matches, as the points get tougher, as the stakes rise, he seems to then propel his tennis to higher heights. Pretty much the only points Borg's been able to win in this third set is just going for huge returns. A couple sp spray winners here and there, but consistently it's been Connors. This decisive set, just too much pressure he's been putting on Bjorn Borg. So there's another one for Borg. <laughs> Hasn't done him at the right moment, so it's 40 love. Now he's back to 40-30. My bet is that Connors won't give him a serve to look at. See, Borg is on top of that backhand. See if Connors tries to swing this into his body. I'll give him a clean swing at the ball. Set up high. Usually he handles those. It's the low ones that give him a little more trouble. Let's see where this ball is. Yeah, it's pretty much right in the strike zone, just above his knee. Crowd urging Bjorn on. You know, he needs this game, Bill, to get back in and have any chance. Can't get down 5 1. And Connor thought that uh, the serve was going to be called out. Didn't even attempt to hit that return. And look at Borg laughing, having a good time. He's seen this a few times, hasn't he? You're seeing that one is out? Well, well, what about that one? That looked well inside the line to me, too. Oh, you know, please give me a little four points. 
A huge crowd, and Jimmy's got to, you know, turn and bring a little politics into it. Saves the break point. Well, that ball stayed so low, Bill, that forehand slice. He's got a little side spin on it. Ward couldn't handle it. Back to Deuce. Shakes his head. Had an opportunity to get that one break back. Senses that this match is slipping away here. So Borg unable to convert the break chance. Potters holds and he's now a game away. And tonight on CBS, it's Dr. Quinn, medicine woman, early edition. And Walker, Texas Ranger, that's all coming up tonight on CBS. So Borg serving to stay in the match. Hey. Wide. Started to rush as this match is going on as Borg Billy's. Trying to come in very quickly. And he's made loads of errors here in this decisive set. There are the unforced errors. Wow, look how the numbers have picked up for Borg. Really have turned. And made more errors in the first set as well, but he also had a lot more winners. The winners have been few and far between here this last set. it into the net. Look how quick he still is, Borg. Amazing. 42, how well these guys move and counters at 45. Love 30, two points away. I think it's been uh, uh, fatigue has been a factor. Bill Borg looks as sprightly as ever. I just think he's <coughs> just gone off the boil with his game. He hasn't. <laughs> he hasn't been able to really combat the, the aggressiveness of Connors in, in as the middle of the second set. Remember, Connors was down a break early in that second set as well. Connors, since that time, just picked up his intensity put a lot of pressure on Borg, and it just became that much tougher for Borg to hit those big passing shots. Two match points for Connors. There it is. An hour and 59 minutes. Well, I guess that's the way to end it, Bill, with the backhand pass. 
off the return. Jimmy Connors getting stronger as the match goes on. And now it's Jimmy Connors and John McEnroe for the challenge. Quite a battle between these two legends. So for Patrick McEnroe, this is Bill McEnzie saying so long from the challenge where Jimmy Connors has defeated Bjorn Borg. Knocked over one of the chairs next to his uh, bag there, but Jimmy had an interesting comment that made me think when John said, you know, I don't cover the net quite as well as I used to. I have to stay back more. Jimmy thinks that John's ground strokes have actually improved the last couple of years because of that. And John's worked on the fact that he has to get more balls in play. So I think you'll see more rallies in this match than you may have seen when they played in their primes. That's going to make for exciting, great tennis, really. John now 39 years old. Actually, he's been staying at his home up in Malibu this week. 16 singles and doubles titles and Grand Slam events. And a big round of applause for these two. And John starts with an ace. You watch Jimmy Connors move, and it's hard to believe he's 45 years old. <laughs> Remarkable. The condition that he's still in. His footwork, 109 singles titles in his career. That's a record. Eight Grand Slam singles titles. there going to be any maybe that's one little trick Jimmy Connors has here the offensive lob a good approach deep Jimmy gets back in good position and what a picture perfect lob right in the corner check out Matt Cam and that uh, wasn't very close <laughs> closer to the sideline and we need this we need the Matt Cam sideline uh, second ace oh. Another reason why the crowd is, is into it already is because there's our, there's our chair umpire for the proceedings, Joe Wolf, is because they've been out here the last couple days. They saw John look very sharp against Yannick Noah on Friday and de demolish him. They saw a great match with Connors and Borg yesterday. So not only is it the two great heavyweights, but they're playing good tennis. Look at that, three aces. <laughs> to start it off.